Chiyo Oda is a resident of the coastal Iwaki city in Fukushima Prefecture. Along with a group of like-minded people, Oda organized a citizens alliance called Stop Polluting the Sea Anymore. And they get together on the 13th of every month, protesting against the discharge of nuclear contaminated water into the Pacific Ocean. When they said the accident at Fukushima Daiichi was nothing major, or when they simply argued that China's import ban was just not good for Japan, without discussing the issue thoroughly, then we stopped trusting the government. Apart from raising their voice in protest, they have been taking other actions too, including writing appeals to Tokyo Electric Power Company, local municipalities, and the national government. Even though their voice has been heard, it seems that it has not been taken seriously. The authorities had said they would give us a detailed explanation before starting to release the water into the sea. They also promised the fishermen and concerned parties that they would not release the water without their consent. But it was as if that promise had never been made and the radioactive water was hastily discharged into the ocean. Tsutomu Yoneyama, a Fukushima local, said people in Fukushima are the most affected and showed us a picture of how many of them are opposing the government's action. These municipalities in light blue are those that voted in the assembly against the discharge of radioactive water. Majority of the people in the prefecture oppose discharging this contaminated water into the sea. Yoneyama explained further. There are many ways to get statistical data. For example, you can just lift some data from the Internet, but when you get your statistics that way, you can get different results. And while the government publishes data that only benefits itself, our data here is more authentic as we went to the local municipalities and got them to vote on the matter. So do people talk about it? We don't talk about it much in our everyday conversations. Especially those in the fishing industry who receive subsidies from the government. This has made Oda and Yoneyama even more determined to voice their concerns aloud. Their group is growing. They have an illustrator designing their poster and people from all over the world participating in their event. On April 13, 2024, the third anniversary of the announcement of the decision to discharge the contaminated water, they will organize an international protest. Oda says she hopes to leave a beautiful and clean ocean for the next generation.